Okay. Seconds to start. The referees are in place. Team ready. Blue team. White team. Let's play. Here we go. Bamberg uh, from Germany against Suri from Switzerland. And Bamberg is in uh, white. And Suri is in blue. And this is uh, game number 23 here. Champions Cup 2017. And the referees in the water are Kaiser Lindmann and Jirki Antero Muta. Uh, and the uh, deck referee is Lars Olsen. We'll be you in a minute. I'm just finishing the statistics. So we are already, no, we are at the Bamberg basket and Switzerland is attacking. Why but Bamberg uh, got the ball and is now in attacking mode, swimming through the whole pool without being disturbed and we are already at the Swiss basket and uh, the play goes from the open side, the ball carrier passes through the close side but was, uh, the ball was tackled away by the defender, by the Swiss defender and is now in uh, Swiss possession, heavily attacked by Bamberg players. We have uh, 142 uh, visitors in our live stream. Bamberg is again in ball possession and going in from the close side waiting for uh, their colleagues taking in position um, at the basket and here we are player in position ball carrier in the corner waiting i think that's lucas tata there at the basket but there was no uh, player he could uh, pass his ball to it's again switzerland does quite a good job uh, disturbing the game of their opponent, in this case, Bamberg. So here we are. No, was not in the basket, but very close again. Very close. Two chances from for Bamberg to pushing the ball into the basket, but it was not totally under the rim of the basket, so it doesn't count as a goal. And it was two times in a row, well, well defended by Switzerland, and uh, we are. Uh, almost three minutes in the first half again very well defended by uh, very well defended by uh, the Swiss and uh, Switzerland is even in ball possession now and uh, here we go there was an empty basket because uh, Switzerland Number 10 scored Bamberg. in Bamberg, That's but it was on the empty Michael. basket and the, the Swiss players tried to go forward Felix. and were uh, opening up the space to, to switch into attack mode and that was a mistake, so they received the goal on the empty basket. But it took uh, uh, Bamberg uh, four minutes, no, three minutes uh, to for the first goal. And now we're again uh, in the pool side of Bamberg in the corner and there's one Swiss player heavily attacked by uh, Bamberg players and they succeed in ripping the ball off his arm and uh, they go forward being forechecked by one Swiss player. A second forechecker tried to stop them and we have a goalkeeper and defender in place to uh, welcome the Bamberg players and there's now an attack on the close on the open side and the passing in front of the basket there is no defense right now and Bamberg has an open game and that's another another goal we have another for white Bamberg scored by number 13 number 13, 13 for Bamberg white 13 scored Gitsa. Again, Switzerland tries to attack. It's amazing how they, uh, even with nine players, get out of the offense into the offense, which is a, a, a thing they have to do to get a break from this, from this continuously defending. But it takes uh, a lot of uh, stamina and uh, power to, with nine people to go into offense. And they do a quite good job here going forward. 
and uh, annoying the Bamberg defense, even though uh, there wasn't a real danger on the German basket. But for me, the winners of the heart uh, right now with the men are uh, the, is the team from Switzerland. Well, they're fighting hard. I mean, they, they have had uh, a lot of uh, hard games behind them. I mean, they have been playing against uh, Vienna and uh, against uh, Polisen. This is the third game against Bamba. It was have been also a strong uh, group. And we have here defending the ball again and trying to, you know, bring the ball as far away as possible. Doing a good job. I mean, Bamberg is also um, maybe still not completely in the game. Um, I uh, I don't want to get the Bamberg uh, spectators angry. <laughs> <laughs> Which happens easily so as a commentator to make uh, the everyone angry if we say that we don't think they're playing yeah. the best. Um, we didn't have any death <laughs> threats yet, but <laughs> we are getting there. After the fourth year, maybe. <laughs> It's just that guys, we know they can do it better. Uh, we have seen, gr I mean, the last game, I mean, against Molde last year was amazing. Was yeah, the quality was, of was game that yeah. just, but sometimes, even it happened to our team, you need, you have a, a bit of a weaker team, then you don't play, like if you have a, str a, a, a strong opponent, yeah, it's is, true. Uh, like that. And it's, it's, it's interesting to see that it doesn't happen just to us. <laughs> <laughs> I, I th always thought it was just, you know, us, uh, the, the, my, uh, team but it's good to see we are not alone so Bamberg is coming from the close side from the corner side uh, of the Swiss basket pool side and now from the open side in the middle one player uh, already waiting on the open side trying to in yes it is that's the typical uh, attack pattern from Bamberg they uh, position themselves on both sides and uh, mostly the one from the open side then uh, yeah, does the does the scoring there's a, a question from key in the live chat yeah the champions cup is every year in berlin um, oh, that's the, last the weekend of november and that's the 16th time it has uh, been in berlin um, in a row and we have now an attack from Switzerland at the basket. They are at the basket of uh, Bamberg. And uh, that could have been a situation uh, while uh, the, ball, the, 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 ba the balloon was already at the basket of Bamberg, but the defender was lying in the way. Happens eventually. And here we are back again very fast at the Swiss basket and uh, uh, the attack pattern of Bamberg is into action. So again, two players from Bamberg under the basket and one, tr one of them tries to attack from the close side and the ball is now uh, two meters in front of the uh, basket from Switzerland in uh, possession of Bamberg and they try to push forward by the heavily uh, um, intercepted by Switzerland and the ball fell down the Swiss player didn't have a colleague to play to and now we have a one-on-one -on -one situation and this probably will be a goal now no very well done by the Swiss goalkeeper he was lying next to the basket waiting for the Bamberg player trying to push in the goal but now it happened and he snatched it away but this constant pushing and um, uh, constant pressure like Bamberg six. puts on the defense of Switzerland costs a lot. So for everyone tuning in, this is the Champions Cup uh, here in Berlin. We have 14 nations, uh, 23 teams, and this is Champions Cup 39, and it's the 16th Champion Cup in a row here in Berlin. And you're watching the game uh, Bamberg in white of Germany. And Bamberg is now attacking uh, the, the Swiss basket and Swiss uh, Switzerland in blue. And it's a 4-0 lead for Bamberg.
And yes, uh, it's no surprise Baumig is winning here, but uh, always a surprise to see Switzerland with nine players. There's only nine players in the water um, going in. And again, the attack from the open side and the scoring from the attacker and of the right open side. Again. And the end of the Eight. first half. Number 11, white number 11. White number oh 11. And we also have the time, uh, half time, half time. White number uh, 11 is Sebastian Lange. Um, he attacked from the open side and scored. So it's uh, end of the first half for Switzerland and uh, they will be happy to have time to take a breath and to refocus because when you are constantly under attack you, it's really difficult, and we're back in the discussion about uh, mental strength. It's really difficult to stay focused, to keep the, the concentration up when you're out of air, when you're under pressure. So, yes, it's a big uh, uh, issue in underwater rugby, mental strength and how we train it. Because I don't have an answer to this yet. I know some ways to train mental strength to do uh, replay games you had suc you played successful in your mind and to rethink them uh, the rethink the scenes where you scored where you uh, defended suc uh, successful to replay that in your mind so you have this positive mindset and you uh, believe in your ability to score and to defend so if you replay that you structure your brain and your mental uh, mental way you look at a game you just think you believe you are successful and that is a big game changer but we should implement this more into our training of underwater rugby players not only the physical um, training but also the mental training keep the mental strength of the players up keep it positive and uh, make sure they think in a positive way winning uh, not only winning but their ability to defend and to score in a game that's quite Im uh, uh, I don't see that done very often um, with with trainings uh, of teams and you should start if you start uh, training your young teams start with them early uh, the same way as you start should start early to train them uh, to warm up to cool down so it is part of their routine um, and if you have older players, you cannot teach an older player a new game, but you can start with the young ones. And if you start with them and putting it in their routine, they have to warm up outside the water before they go into the water, then warm up in the water, lung training, and uh, then to do mental training outside the water too. Um, this will give them a head start team ready. in the future. Okay, second half here, Switzerland against Germany. Bamberg in uh, white in the German team and Zurich in blue. And Lorena is back. Bamberg and I'm seeing the Rixu players uh, doing short runs right in front of the door of the pool. I know, I was just um, <laughs> seeing also what, what we can see here. So, uh, we are 5-0 for Bamberg and uh, I have no idea what ball was telling so far because I was getting coffee. Uh, so, let's see. How, what can we see? The white uh, team of Germany is trying to score right now. They got under the goalie, they pull it up and the ball is in. That's yeah, the a white typical... Goals go by number 4. Number, number 4, four Lucas. <laughs> That's the kind of attack, that's the kind of flow we are used to see in, in Bamberg, no? that we didn't see in the, in the first minute. Uh, but again, I mean, we have a lot of games in the Champions Cup, and when you know that you have an opponent that it's not that strong, normally you try to, to, to spare a little bit of energy. I've played the Champions Cup like 10 different times, so I know what I'm talking about. Um, Where the white free throw? Playing outside the area, playing outside the area. So, white free throw. Free throw for white, the ball was outside uh, the play area. So, they are taking it, uh, you know, they don't uh, 
they can have a, a, a quiet game and uh, still win against the uh, nine Swiss players. Switzerland is playing with nine players. That can be really, really exhausting in the Champions Cup. It's a very physical um, games that they had. They, they are in a group. Remember, we have 14 male teams, and this is a group B: Bamba, Polizen, Zurich, and Vienna. And Zurich has been the weaker uh, team in this. Um, Group. This is the third game of Bamberg. They won already the two others against Vienna and Polisen, and uh, this is uh, the third um, time that uh, the the Swiss uh, play ag against a stronger team than they are. So this is uh, probably wearing them out as well. You can see the goalie is uh, often without the defender, and they are not be able to defend as much as they have done it in the beginning of the game. And Another right goal. goal. And who was no, no goal. No goal. No goal. Okay. The blue free throw. Free no throw. goal. Blue no free throw. No goal because of holding blue without ball. It's a free throw for the Swiss holding. team for holding. holding. Blue free throw. There was no goal. We had an attack on the goalkeeper holding. Um, no, Camilo Diaz is playing for Orcas. I just see the, <laughs> the 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 chat right now. Camilo is playing for Orcas, and the, yeah, that's his player uh, with long hair um, playing for the Swiss. But this is not uh, Camilo Diaz. Uh, this wouldn't be allowed to be played for two teams another goal from the head this We're time coming from the close by number corner four. number four, number four lucas is on fire today <laughs> i've named it at least three or four times um he has been scoring maybe to release some pressure so six minutes to go of the second half of the game And now we have the Swiss trying to pass over the half of the pool. There's it's not really quick what they're doing, uh, but uh, at least effective at stealing ball control. They have they're attacking the goalie from Bamber from uh, the back part and just continuing to be uh, in position of the ball, pass it, and just lost this uh, with the defender of. Bamberg. Um, now we are, they are fighting in the in the surface for the ball. Let's see. Uh, Bamberg player got the ball. They are swimming a counter attack passage to the other playmate that uh, was a little bit uh, stopped by the Swiss. And now they uh, are waiting. I think that was Hannes waiting for the playmates to arrive. And now there again under the goalie trying to pull the goalie up while being held by the defender of the Swiss team pass coming up the close side and the ball is inside and we have a white goal scored by number four number four number Lucas four, white <laughs> I think has scored for five of the of the seven of the eight goals yes so it was a little bit away uh, but Lorena tell me did anything change apart no, from uh, really. the Lucas, scoring Lucas is on fire they have done like five different goals i believe okay so i think he will scream at this team now that's how you do it <laughs> so we have one swiss player under the goal holding the ball for the partner that came over the closer side and tried to push on the back of the goalie of bamber but was not a successful attack but you know look good i mean he was he arrived block and then hold the ball and you could see the other swiss coming along the wall to push uh, up the goalie. However, the ball now is a little bit. Oh, there was a, f a fail pass for uh, the Swiss team sadly, and the um, white team recovered the ball and is now swimming toward the Swiss basket. Although they are, yeah, it's a little bit, they have a little bit of resistance from the Swiss. <laughs> so um, um, the Swiss. Whoa, that was another fast uh, score over the head of uh, the Swiss defender. 
But after this, uh, yeah. we, we're in the last three minutes, three and a half minutes of the second half, so the the right Swiss top. player from Zurich will be for sure tired. And uh, so Julia, you're probably very proud. Huh? You just did a score. <laughs> Sorry. No, no problem. I'm always uh, happy you interrupt uh, me <laughs> with more insight. And uh, I'm trying to make the people clear that Camilo Diaz is not playing for Switzerland and he has not a twin. And let's see who is the player that looks like Camino. Either. And again, uh, there is uh, an attack from Bamberg, but uh, the player was uh, right in front uh, all alone. And the second uh, wave comes in now, but it's a 9-0 Zurich. Uh, Bamberg and Bamberg is leading 9-0 and uh, the Swiss player probably are super exhausted now and uh, well try to not. hold on to the to their goal with their teeth <laughs> well it's, it's the last <laughs> thing they can do but they're doing you know they did great they did yeah doing a good job absolutely they're di putting everything they have and, and they don't break no, they, you no, don't no, see they great. don't see them giving up um, but the, the attack of Bamberg is relentless and as expected, they, they are not uh, really disturbed by the Swiss. So it's two minutes left, so they can score some more. But the Swiss are always in for a surprise because Bamberg does don't seem to believe they will lose the ball against them. And like in this situation, we just saw where uh, the Bamberger, def uh, the, the, the Swiss defender, just pushed the ball out of the hands of the Bamberg player. Uh, always ready for surprises. <laughs> no, the only um, sister I know from Camilo is Lilo. And uh, no, there are no twin as far as I know. And I'm trying to look for the name of this guy. He has number 25, but we don't have an actual list of Switzerland, so I can't. And another tell attack and another score. No, no, it was not. Oh no. Penalty. Oh, penalty. Okay. Ah, yes, uh, poor Swiss. We have a blue timeout. Well, at least they have good and chocolate have to cry shoot. over the. Lost Pardon me. Game. At least they have good chocolate so to cry we over the lost game. Well, the if you have good blue. chocolate, you can um, take everything. Life is so much easier. Timeout. <laughs> timeout blue. Okay, timeout blue to catch some air. Let's see who is going to take that penalty. <laughs> I'll, I'll ask who he is. Uh, Okay, who will execute the penalty, do uh, you think, uh, Lucas? No, 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 no. I can. I think this is uh, Sebastian. And the reason for the penalty was shoulder in the basket. Okay, shoulder in the basket. We had uh, shoulder in the basket uh, from uh, a Swiss player, and that's the cause for the penalty. And you see the Swiss players uh, discussing who is, who is the one uh, defending the basket. Okay, team's getting ready. Let's see uh, if we can see the number of the attacker. I think that's the 11, uh, number 11, Sebastian Lange, I believe. Here we go. Penalty against Switzerland. On the basket is 25 for Switzerland. Oh, wow. That was fast. Uh, white goal. And uh, white goal. Oh. quick, not dirty. Number 11. Yeah, that was Sebastian. 11. So great job. That was a very great Six executed penalty. Yeah. Beautiful to see. Well, nothing. <laughs> there's not much you can say uh, no. about that. It was okay. uh, very really fast and very gone. I think, I mean, the t-shirt with the names and the numbers are great. I mean, the best we have is when at least they have the numbers on the themes as well. But for, me, for, for the men, I think with the t-shirts, it makes us so much easier for us. Um, yeah, but nevertheless, you don't have to forget, it costs uh, money to get a whole uh, uh, team of uh, jerseys. Money. And you cannot only have one, you have to uh, spare ones because they got uh, ruptured in the game. So it's a, it's a money issue too. Bamberg from the close side and game over here. End of game. 10-0 for... Bamberg.